Welcome to this lecture. Now we have already studied some of the topics in the JavaScript like creating a variable, functions, loop and conditionals. Now it's time to see the events. So what is the HTML events? So we'll just cover HTML events, how it work with the JavaScript code and everything about the HTML and JavaScript events in this lecture. So you'd wonder why we need to understand the events in the hacking so that is because we can attack those parameters like on click on listener and everything that is related to events so we'll just hack or we'll just crack that event parameter to run our payload so we'll just understand these events what are the type of the events and how it works with the javascript in this lecture so let's get started so first of all what is the events so let me just open the sublime text so you could see here the plain html documents over here we have just uh, studied about the HTML that is tag over here and closing the HTML tag body and inside this body we have the button tag so what this button tag does is it will just create a simple button in your HTML documents so when you just run this file so let me just go quickly to my folder and let me just run this file which is index file so it is index.html then you could see this is the same file over here which is saying today's time is so you could see it is the button in the same document but when you just press this button nothing is happening because we are not assigning the events to this html elements so this is your particular html elements and we make use of a javascript code to assign some events to this html elements so let's get started so first of all when the javascript is used in the html pages javascript can react on these html elements by the use of a javascript code so html elements or HTML events can be something that the browser does or something a user does so that can be the operation of the browser or that can be the operation of the user or the client so we'll see some of the example now here with the case of the HTML events so first of all what we'll do is we'll just go back to our sublime text over here and you could see we have today's time is which is the button so let's assign some event to this button so i just assign the simple on click event we have bunch of the events in the javascript but we'll just assign on click over here and i'll just say document which is referring to this particular document of html and i'll just get the element so i'll just say document get element by id not the tag name so let me just remove this and it should be id and i'll just check for let me say demo and this is your on click so now what you can do simply is you can just insert that is another parameter to this demo so let me just go over here put the period and I'll just say inner HTML which is referring to the content of HTML and now let me make use of this inbuilt method of a JavaScript which is date method so let's go in our console quickly and let me show you what this date does so if I just run my console in the browser and if I call this date method and hit enter you'll see the date over here which is giving us in the string format which is the date which is my current location date over here and you could see it is returning the date of today over here and this is your simple that is JavaScript method that will return the date so what we are going to do in here is when user press this button which is showing us simply let me show you that is today's time is so when the user presses this button it will be redirect to call this date method and it will just insert today's date to something so let us make that paragraph now which will have the ids demo so let me just quickly create that paragraph so i'll just say that id should be 
demo because we want to just insert this date to this paragraph let me just close this paragraph now so let me show you what is happening over here so we are just saying we have a paragraph over here so we are giving the paragraph demo but this doesn't contain any uh, content if you want you can just put over here this is paragraph or something and when you just put here that is a paragraph and when you see here that is the demo id what it is going to do is it will change uh, this element so if you just see this paragraph is also html element and we are just saying here when the user presses this button which is basically on click event and we are just saying that when user presses this button we want to change the demo which is basically the id which is the paragraph into today's date so let me just save this quickly and run this again so let me just go back here and you can see we have now this is paragraph over here which is this same document let me just quickly show you so this is the same paragraph having the id demo which is over here now when i just press this today's time is see what it is going to happen it will just change this content of this is paragraph to today's date so you could see we have the today's date or the time which is uh, the current time over here instead of this is paragraph which was the initial content of the paragraph so this is the event so we make use of this on click event which is basically when the user presses that event we're going to do something with that html elements you can also make use of on mouse over here so i'll just say on mouse over which is then another event and it is saying when the user move the mouse over to this field it will just change uh, to the current date so let me just refresh again so now just see my pointer over here the mouse pointer and when i just hover this mouse pointer at this button which is today's time is button you will see that it had changed now to current date so this time it is not the that is on click event it is now on mouse over we have the on change event we have on mouse over on mouse out on key down on load so when you just say on key down let me just write here on key down which is the another event let me save this down and let me just remove this and refresh this page again and now we are just making that is on key down so when i just press the keyboard key then you could see that this is paragraph will be changed to something that is today's date so you can just enter or you can just press the space key or enter just moving that mouse over here and press the shift or basically any key that would be space so if i just press this down then you could see that this content has been changed to the current date because in this case we have on key down event so this will be some of the events and we'll see how we can create the payload so as to crack or basically get the vulnerabilities on this particular parameter in the upcoming lecture and you can simply grab this from the resource section that is the some of the events over here which is on change and this is going to just be called or invoke when the html elements has been changed so if you see something will be changed in the html documents this method will be triggered and when the user click on the html events which was when we just press the button on click event will be just uh, called and when the user move the mouse over the html elements or hover the mouse over the html elements on mouse over method will be called and when the user move the mouse away from the html elements on mouse out will be called so let's take example of this on mouse out so i'll just say on mouse out and when i just save this down go back to our mozilla over here and let me just refresh this again 
and when I just move my mouse out of here you could see that this has been changed to the current date again so this is another event and you have on key down when the user presses a keyboard key this method will be invoked and when the browser has finished loading the page on load method will be called and we'll see how to just hack all of these events so as to make a simple payload and get the xss attack on that website in the upcoming lecture for now i'll just say you goodbye see you in the next lecture